it's time to align the Pacific hub. Now, GDI forces in the Southern Pacific are loyal to Colonel James, so don't expect a hero's welcome. Go. Hi, I'm Mike Lisecki. I'm a uh, senior producer at Electronic Arts, working on Command & Conquer 4. Um, I'm going to go ahead and play one of the Nod missions for you from our game. I'm going to select uh, the Offense class uh, because I like uh, really hard-hitting ground-based units, and that's the class for it. So, as you can see, I have my crawler here. You may have seen some of the videos of this previously on game trailers or other sites. Um, with my crawler, one of the things I can do is I can build units as it is mobile, and you can see them here in the hold. Now, those units are actually building, but in, in order to place them in the world, I need to unpack my crawler, and you'll see the units come out here. I'm going to go ahead and move on to my first objective which is uh, to disable one TCN damp dampening station. So I'm going to go ahead and move out. That is up here to the north. And one of the things you'll see that's new in Command & Conquer 4, besides the fact that you have classes and crawlers and things like that, are these red Tiberium crystals. Now those crystals are important to me because they allow me to upgrade. And you can see here in my upgrade tabs, I have nothing selected yet because I don't have any upgrade points. Each red crystal that I grab is going to give me five points and allow me to either buy upgrades for my units or upgrades in my unit tier technology. So I'm going to try to get one red crystal so that I can buy my first tier. So I'm into tier two, which gives me more powerful units. So I'm using some fast moving units and also you can see here with my engineers, they have the ability to jump so I can get right at that crystal here in a second. Oh, actually, sorry, i got to fight these guys off and back off here. So I got the uh, crystal with the engineer, but I'm losing my other units. Uh, so I forgot about the GDI defenders up there, so I'm going to back off and bring my crawler forward. So if we go back to my crawler, you can see him here. Once again, he's mobile. I'm going to build up a couple of Avengers. And while I'm at it, I'm going to go ahead and buy my Tier 2 technology with the five points that I've just earned. Come back down here, and it's going to give me access to some stealth tanks, which I really like. I love the ability to sneak up on units, and stealth tanks are also great against air units. The other thing you'll notice is when I upgraded my crawler to Tier 2, in addition to getting access to some new units, my crawler gained a weapon system here on the top of it so it actually can defend itself and if I get to tier 3 it gets an even heavier weapon system so effectively crawlers not only build units and not only are they mobile bases but they towards the end of each game become almost like a battleship they have a lot of weapon systems on them so here you can see I'm building the last of my stealth tanks I'm also uh, gonna go ahead and build one of the cyborg commandos um, pretty interesting unit and then it's able to capture uh, units from the enemy side. Here we see an upgrade crate and if I grab that it's going to go ahead and individually upgrade whichever unit touches it first so you can see I gained a rank on that unit. The unit will now have uh, better armor and will also uh, do more damage when it hits. So there we go and here we have the offense MCV from our crawler from the uh, GDI team. I'm going to go ahead and take that out. Um, now he'll be able to respawn it, but one of the things uh, that I'll gain an advantage by taking him out is one, I'll get a lot of experience points, and two, it'll also slow him down. He won't be able to defend as well without that crawler. He won't be able to build units for about three minutes. So that's a nice advantage for me, if I can do it before his buddy here takes out enough of my units. All right. Now, Nod is um, traditionally and, and and is in CNC4 a different way to play the game. They're not as straightforward. Sometimes you do a bit, a bit sneakier. Uh, here, I've built up enough units where I don't have to sneak around and and uh, apply a lot of strategy. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and move forward. This is the dampening station that I need to take out in order to complete the first objective. I also need to build some more units. While I have been doing fairly well, I've also lost a couple. I'm going to go ahead and build some of the Scorpion tanks. 
which have a, a cool laser system, really good at taking out other ground-based units. So, objective one, we need to go ahead and destroy the dampener.